dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Battlefield 3. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome to August 6th, we're talking about Battlefield 3. That's right, and this is an EA published title, if you don't know, and uh, basically it's your average shooter, you know, you, the plot's the same, you go out and you kill other uh, soldiers, you attack terrorists, you save the nation, everything's glory, that's pretty much the plot of every single first person <laughs> shooter you've ever played. So this one, I mean, does Battlefield 3 uh, uh, surpass any other first person shooter? Is there a reason why you should get this one over any other one? Uh, and I'm going to pitch this to you, because I'm not a first-person shooter player. Yeah, clearly. That's what I was going to say. First thing is, he doesn't really care for FPSs, so, so yeah, like everything else. No, I mean, it, it has it a unique like story. No, else. not no, for sure. It's different. Um, I, you know, kind of wanted to bring this up just because I, I recently found out that uh, the new Star Wars Battlefront is being picked up by DICE, the makers of Battlefield 3. So I'm kind of interested in that. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to revisit. I never played Battlefield 3, because I'm more of a Call of Duty guy, uh, Call of Duty guy, and... Uh, so there's always been kind of that, you know, is this one better than this? You know, and Battlefield 3 was really the first, I think, breakout uh, that that that, Battlefield, uh, that Modern Warfare fans were kind of switching over because Battlefield 3, you know, was, oh, it's crisper and, you know, whatever. And the story is different. And I will say that the story is, I think, fairly intense. And I do enjoy this story just right alongside the Modern Warfare. It is very different enough. So if you play both games, it's not like you have to play one and not the other because it'll be a redundant or whatever. They're very different games. But they're and they're very beautiful. Um, Battlefield Three, I think, isn't it? Doesn't have the same feel as far as the FPS, you know, uh, shooting uh, uh, the mechanics of it. Just just aren't. I, I don't think quite as tight as the Call of Duty. I'm really excited about the next one coming up. In fact, I've just uh, pre-ordered my PS4 about a week ago, and uh, I'm getting that game. That's going to be my first game with the dog and everything. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Now, I have kind of started to fall out of love with just the kind of strict uh, first-person shooter. I thought that 3 was always turned up to 11, and Battlefield 3 as well. As our, uh, I was talking about Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 are both really turned up. Right. So that there's kind of this unbelievable action. It's like, oh, I just fell out of a building, but I'll just shake myself, you know, dust myself off and keep going kind of thing. And I don't think that that's really necessary. Um, but I do enjoy it. It is fun at some point. So so I'm kind of like starting to fall out of love. My my nephew and I have had conversations lately where he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not really compelled by those anymore because they don't have great story or great characters. And, you know, kind of how you feel about it. Um, but I still very much enjoy it. I think the controls are just really tight. I mean, that's what they do. That They, they make the first-person shooter so tight and so streamlined. And then the story... Um, before was just kind of not there, and now they're kind of doing a little too much. Anyway, uh, Battlefield 3 is definitely a strong contender. It will be interesting to see what the next one yields. Uh, but in a sea of FPSs, I think that Battlefield 3 does stand apart, but I also feel that Modern Warfare 3 stood apart as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I don't like, it feels too crisp in some ways. Like, I think that Modern Warfare had just enough drag that it felt more realistic, this one is almost like a PC game, and I know a lot of you guys are PC gamers and, and love the PC. To me, I like console stuff because it, it's more streamlined. It's more about playing the game rather than, than like, I, I don't know. That, that's all I can, it's like, it's, to me, it's like Mac versus PC. I'm a Mac guy, and I don't spend time working on my computer. I just use my computer, and it's kind of like transparent, like a window, you right? I don't spend time like, oh, where the fuck is the control panel and all that shit that I do in Windows? It's the same sort of thing with PC. It's like, I don't want to use every single finger at every second and remember, like, oh, gee, I forgot AW, you know, all that stuff. I just want to use the controls that I'm nice, you know, I'm streamlined. I, I don't want to perceive the, the device I'm using while I'm playing. I just want it to be seamless. Now, of course, you can argue that if you follow the PC long enough, it becomes seamless, and you're using your mouse to look around and all that stuff, not a big deal, or you just use a controller through the computer and it's better graphics. I just, I love the, the I'm just really excited about the next generation, I love the console stuff, and um, again, it's just, I don't want to know I'm using the device, I just want to interact with the world 
and 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 have the device fade in the background. Battlefield Three, I think, has a more expansive story for sure. Um, it's it's more involved. There's a lot more going on. The Modern Warfare is kind of a microcosm of uh, you know these soldiers getting you know betrayed and lied to and, and yada yada. And the Battlefield Three is kind of like un against you know uncommon odds and and saving the world from terrorism and all that stuff so i think there's a very drastic difference between the two so for you to just chalk it up as all the same i don't well, think that that's okay it's, it's not i'm not saying that every fps is the same obviously i, I pick and choose like uh, left for dead is technically an fps let's see the replay no i just because i think you literally said oh it's, it's just kind of your standard every you know every, like yes. every other FPS. you're right you're right you're right uh, um and when i when i I guess what I meant to say back then was it's your standard military uh, driven FPS. So you were in the military and that so so there are FPSs that I like but to play. There's no like aliens or left, rabbits. Right, or exactly. Robots. Yeah, there's no crazy stuff happening. There's no yeah, no horror element. There's no nothing. There's just some people with guns in a modern day setting doing their thing. And that and that doesn't really resonate with me because I'm 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 not military inclined or well, what? So we've been having a lot of fun playing the uh, uh, Fuse, right? yes. the, the, the Let's Play that we're doing on right. uh, Game Labs. Do you like that? Well, yeah, because you get the extra, you get the different weapons, you get the cool, you know, some characters have those big mechs that they walk around in. There, there's a variety to it. There's something that I can't, that, that, that I can, there's an element in those that I can't get in real life. Okay, yeah, so, so fantasy. Right, exactly. There's a fantasy to it. Um, whereas, you know, Modern War Warfare 3, um, which is the one that I own, in fact, when I was going to get, I was like, okay, I'm going to get a military um, shooter, and I'm going to play it, and I'm going to see what I think about it. I was choosing between Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. I went with Modern Warfare 3 mostly because my brother Jason had it, and I could play with him. But as soon as I finished being the story and playing it with my brother a little bit, I don't think I've ever picked it up again. It's just not... I... Well, you're obviously not in the multiplayer. I, I'm a little bit in the multiplayer. I'm not the hardcore multiplayer, but that's a lot of fun. And then, of course, like, I loved Spec Ops, the the... the the operations, you know, the side missions that they did um, for Modern Warfare 3, I really loved those. I played the hell out of those, getting three stars and stuff, right. and those were a lot of fun because they have those scenarios, those tasks you have to complete, and I really do enjoy that. It's funny, though, that, that we're talking about fantasy, and I, I agree with you. I love games with fantasy as well, but I also appreciate the realism. What I think is funny is that I know that you appreciate when they use realism in like comics and things like that. Yes. Although you like the fantasy stuff too, mm -hmm. but in games it doesn't. You don't seem to have a tolerance for that. If if it's something that you could go out and do right now, or you know, as the kind of normal human affair, right. you're just like whatever. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. It's interesting. Yeah. Again, because they're doing the Star Wars Battlefront series is another reason I wanted to bring it up. But also because I think it's still available on PlayStation Plus for free right now if you want to go check it out. It would probably be gone soon if it's not gone already. So if you always want to check it out like I did, I it was the Call of Duty guy, then you should go check it out right now. I did I did remember... It's like 13 gigs, though. When, when Battlefield 3 first came out, they, they said that they were going for PlayStation 3 users only. Um, they said that they were going to ship it with uh, Battlefield 1942, right? Uh, but then there was an issue and they couldn't send it, so instead they were going to give the PlayStation 3 people who they promised this free game, uh, instead they were going to give them some other like DLC or something like that, but they didn't do that, so they were going to be sued. So instead they ended up giving them 1942 as a DLC, you know, as a downloadable game full, um, and, and that's the only thing really I know about Battlefield 3 other than, you know... <laughs> the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so I guess, I guess what I'm gonna say here is, I really, you, you can't trust my opinion. These military <laughs> games aren't, you know, aren't my thing. So, any, any suggestion for this one is solely on him because well, not me. Okay, so the strong points of this are graphics are beautiful. I think the story is actually a little bit more encompassing, or actually, uh, you know, larger okay. than the Modern Warfare, and I think it holds up pretty well, although falling out of buildings or whatever. But it's not quite as intimate uh, in a way. Because in the Modern Warfare, it's kind of like you've got your team, you recognize that guy, you recognize that guy, and you know it's like, will they survive? Are they, you know, whatever. So you, so you really have kind of this buddy feeling in that game, and I just think that the controls are, so like I say, they're they're perfect in that they have a little bit of drag, and they have the snap to thing, which you know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, it makes it easier, but it does make it easier. There's nothing wrong with that. I like that. Uh, and then the Battlefield 3 is just, it's a little, it's sharper. I think the graphics are crisper, but, you know, they're more jaggies and there's, you know, there's a little bit less of a, 
almost precision to it because it's too easy to whip around. As far as my, you know, I mean, these are nuanced things, but if I try to kind of exacerbate the differences, that's what I come up with. So, so whatever. Um, it is a very solid game, and I, I will look forward to the the fourth installment and see if that's you know as good. So, again, PlayStation Plus. If you want to check it out, you should do it now. Yep. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell us what you think. Uh, Game Live's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art print shirt stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. We're also blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, a little bit about my world uh, that I've been working on for 10 plus years. So go check it out. If you like it, share it, support me that way. Uh, and on my blog is nicholasbach.tumblr.com where I have short stories and poetry and I'll be updating that as I can. All right, guys. See you later. Oh, yes. I kind of I kind of went the last remnant of my eye. Next time on Dual Review, it's Killer Bunnies. But you're in trouble, buddy. Yeah, I am. You're already catching up. Which I'm I'm just so glad that we're not quite tied. I would feel bad. He's been shooting like almost the first one every time though, so yep. he's not a slouch. But I can't always say, but my eyes, it's, your, it's my, you know, my eyes. I can always blame it on that.